Hello, we are Team 7 and welcome to our Leadership Development, development Program for Healthcare for Professionals. My name is Jonathan, I'm with Anomaly, uh, Jeremy who is out due to a uh, emergency issue, Rebecca, and Caleb. I'd like to describe our mission statement for our program. Mission statement is engaging current medical professionals to bridge their career paths from clinical to medical executives. We feel that there are many clinicians and other professionals that work within the healthcare field that do not have the basic understanding to develop into hospital administrative work or the uh, business aspects of hospital administration. We feel our leadership development program could help further professionals and physicians uh, become more adept into becoming uh, hospital administrators. Next will be Caleb, who will talk about our program objectives. So we have some very concise program objectives. First, we are focusing on leadership. We want to build better leaders. Um, then we're going to focus on organizational behavior. Um, this is really a cross-industry um, type of situation where we're looking at different things. Um, but more specifically, we're going to look at hospital administration, which is an industry specific operational improvement. And then finally, we'll look at conflict resolution. Um, so our main target audience um, are healthcare professionals who really want to transition from patient care to administration. It's widely known that we have an abundance of healthcare administration, uh, healthcare professionals, excuse me, who currently seek to acquire new leadership and management skills. Ultimately, we want a program that promotes business leaders within the hospital. The next, Becky is going to talk about the time frame. Thanks, Caleb. The time frame for our leadership program is bi-weekly meetings over an eight-week period. The beginning part of our program will start with an analysis of a personal leadership with the 360 assessment, then going into different types of strengths and weaknesses of particular types of leadership. Then we'll transition into organizational behavior and cap off the midpoint with a guest speaker and also focusing on maintaining engagement. We're going to move into communication skills in week five and go into more of the business acumen in week six, going over the basics of accounting and finance. Week seven dives into that hospital administration and that industry specific skill set. And finally, we'll wrap up with conflict resolution and another guest speaker for the program. And now AC is going to talk about the program costs associated with our program. AC? Thank you, Becky. Uh, so, uh, as you guys see in the slide, uh, so our total cost of the program is fourteen thousand one fifty. As you see the breakup, we 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 are engaging top two trainers in the industry uh, with a phenomenally low cost. So as you see, two hundred dollars per unit. So basically, we are planning this class once in two weeks. So it comes down to sixteen sessions, total of thirty two hundred. We are also expecting some hotel cost of around 3,600. And also the training program, books, supplies, and material, another 7,350. Uh, totals to 14,150. The normal industry standard for the leadership development uh, cost is somewhere between $1,500 to $7,500. Uh, however, we were expecting at least 30 to 50 people can make use of this uh, program, uh, which break down to $500 per, uh, per person, uh, which is phenomenal by any bar. So uh, thank you everyone for tuning into this session. Uh, in our organization, we don't wait for the right opportunity for our employees. Uh, we will create one for them. This leadership training program is one like that. Thanks again, all.